Fred McGuffin reviews. Deadly Force. Uh, this is from 1983. And yeah, 80s B movie uh, craziness here. We have Wings Hauser. Wings Hauser. Yeah, he's like a he's like a second race Mel Gibson. He's got the the curly, the curly. Uh, what would you call it? Um, mullet. He's got the curly mullet, but he just doesn't have that sort of you know, star charisma. But, look, he's, he's, doing the, he's doing his job. So this is Action, Crime and Drama. And it's from 1983 and directed by Paul Aaron. And uh, he also directed A Force of One. That's in Chuck Norris' movie. Maxi, A Different Story and Homefront. And the story of this is we have Stoney Cooper, Wingshauser, he's living in New York, he's, what is he doing? I don't know what he's doing, he's playing the piano, he's, he's helping people out with, with the bombers. Um, he's, he's, been, he's been kicked out of the, the police force in LA, where he was married, he was married to e, Eddie Cooper, or Edwina, and uh, Ed, played by Joyce Ingalls. And he's, so he's living in New York, he's divorced, he's kicked out of the police force, he's got a, I don't know what his job is, but he is, he's brought back to LA because a friend of his, Sam Goodwin, his granddaughter, has been killed by, he's called the ex-killer, he's like a serial killer that is um, causing trouble, killing people, and um, He's on a murderous rampage in L.A. And so he goes back to L.A. And the minute he gets back, his old uh, captain, played by Lincoln Kilpatrick, um, Otto Huxley is the name of the captain. He doesn't want him back in L.A. because um, Stoney's a troublemaker. Stoney doesn't follow the rules. Stoney is you know, loose cannon, and he wants him out of L.A. So, yeah, that type of, that type of, um, you know, one-man army, sort of loose cannon. So, yeah, you have Wingshauser. You may have seen some of his movies, The Insider, Rubber, about a tire, a killer tire, Vice Squad, Tough Guys Don't Dance, Mutant, a soldier story, Beastmaster 2, and he's in a lot of TV work. But, yeah, I liked him in Vice Squad, and, yeah, he's, I don't remember him in The Insider, but I, I'll have to rewatch that and see, um, see him in that. But he's been around for a while, and he does good work, and, yeah, he's passable in this. And, yeah, he's he's enjoyable to watch. Um, Edie Cooper... Joyce Ingalls, she was also in The Man Who Wouldn't Die, Paradise Alley, and Lethal Weapon 4. And um, Sam Go Goodwin, uh, who's played by Al, Al Ruscio, he was in Showgirls, The Phantom, Godfather Part 3, and she's been in every TV show imaginable. He's got a huge, um, huge amount of credits to his name. So, um, yeah. Once you see him, you'll know. So, Stoney's on the case. He's he's back in LA. He's gonna, you know, he doesn't care what the cops the cops don't want him back there. Um, he's gonna find the killer. He's uh, his wife, Edie. She's a reporter, so she has she's done a lot of the groundwork for him. She's been following the story, and uh, yeah, will they or won't they get back together? Will can Stoney rekindle his uh, his marriage while he's there? Um, can he find the killer? And there's a great montage scene of basically Stoney hassling everyone in LA 
trying to get information about um, the X killer. Um, we also have a character called Joshua Adams, who's played by Paul Chenard. And Paul Chenard has been in Scarface, Raw Deal, and The Big Blue. So he's our, one of our bad guys in this. He plays a sort of cult leader type. Um, but he, but um, we're introduced to him through Edie. She's uh, doing a story about him. And um, yeah, we have, we have uh, Stoney on the case trying to find this uh, killer, ex-killer. And for some reason, the ex-killer starts going after Stoney. So Stoney must, must be getting close. He's, he's got some information or he's, his detective work is getting him close to the danger, to the action. So the ex-killer starts coming after Stoney. And uh, yeah, another, another person that's after Stoney in LA is an old, an old gangster, a gangster that's, uh, you know, Stoney's had a run in in LA and he's, he wants him out of LA too. But Stoney makes a deal with him uh, that if he finds the ex-killer, he's going to split the reward with this gangster. And the gangster's name is Ashley Maynard, played by Arlen Dean Snyder. And yeah, yeah, this was, uh, this was 80s sort of schlock, 80s fun, 80s craziness. There's some good car chases. There's um, a nice little, um, you know, reveal about who the, who our bad guy is. And uh, yeah, it's pretty entertaining. Deadly Force, it's not, I don't think it's available on DVD. I watched this on a satellite channel called Legend. And uh, yeah, hard to find. Um, See, can you find it? If you, if you like the 80s sort of B-movie, you know, cheesy stuff. And if you like Wings Hauser. I'm going to give this a, a two out of five. Two. I'm going to give it a two for Wings and Al Ruscio. And, uh, yeah, it's it's all right. Look, it would be a good late night movie when you've had a few drinks and you uh, just want to, you know, have a little chuckle at, you know, if, if Lethal Weapon hadn't worked out, this is what it could have been. And, uh, yeah, Deadly Force 1983, check it out. Brad McGuffin's reviewed Deadly Farce.